Are you excited to find a website where you can get custom one-off parts for your Chevy Cruze? Go to supercruises.com today so you can make your ride even better. Welcome to Dave's World. Sorry if there's a little bit of noise in the background. My neighbor is actually building a house behind my garage and they're doing the foundation today. So you're going to hear a lot of talking and machinery going. Unfortunately, it's part of life. I have to deal with what my neighbor's doing today. So the reason for this video is I have a friend who lives in California named Juan who challenged me to build a hood strut kit because he had an aftermarket hood. His aftermarket hood didn't give him the ability to use the uh, the hood prop, you know, that metal rod that comes up. So I'm gonna show you guys how this kit installs. It's an actual working hood strut kit for the first generation cruise. I am working on a second generation cruise. Uh, unfortunately, it's a little bit of a bigger hood, a little bit heavier, so I can't use the same kit. Once I come out with one of those, you guys will probably see on Facebook uh, or even on YouTube that I posted that, uh, that I designed one that actually works. So this one works and what I wanna do in this video is show everybody how to install this kit on your generation one cruise. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need to do is remove this little clip on the back of this plastic cover. Uh, I always try to work with tools that people could pretty much get from like Home Depot or something. So I try not to use anything specialty in my videos. Uh, so that's why you see me using a pair of pliers here just to pull out the little clip that's in the middle. Once you pull the clip out of the middle, you should be able to pull up on the whole plastic piece. Next thing you want to do is remove the hood bump stop and then you'll see that their weather stripping is kind of hanging over the area the plastic piece used to be. So what we need to do is just trim down the weather stripping. Once you trim down the weather stripping, it's going to give clearance for the hood struts uh, to basically go up and down. You want to do this on both sides. This area of the weather stripping really doesn't do anything for the engine bay. Uh, so cutting this and trimming it down is not really going to be a problem. Once you cut those down, uh, the kit is going to come with a series of washers and hardware. You'll see that all the hardware has basically a specific location. So the brackets are designed specifically for the first generation crews and will line up with the two holes on the fenders that way the hardware will fit right through i do want to advise that when you're installing these brackets on the driver's side push the bracket all the way to the right and tighten the bolts and then on the passenger side push the bracket all the way to the left and tighten the bolts i did not do this in this video so i could show people what happens if you don't once you install the brackets onto the fenders you want to remove the nut that mounts the top stud of the hood and install the strut kit. So this little bracket that installs the strut kit just needs to be rotated slightly. That way the stud for the hood basically clears the strut. That way you don't cause any damage from the hood hitting the strut kit. And again, I want to advise when you're putting the bracket on the passenger side, instead of waiting till the end to tighten all the hardware, install this bracket, push the bracket all the way to the left and tighten everything down now before you install the strut. That way you don't have to deal with everything basically not lining up properly. I will be showing you later in this video what to do if you forget to tighten everything down with a pry bar just to make some minor adjustments. Okay, one thing you're gonna have to look out for is make sure you put these in the right spot and make sure you have this over and this rotated the right way because if you could see the strut's pretty much gonna hit there but it just has the miss. If you just move it over slightly, it won't do it. I have to adjust both of these. So if you see here, all you really need to do is put pressure on the bracket with a pry bar, push to the left or push to the right, tighten everything down, and then the strut will pretty much clear without having a problem by the weather stripping. Okay, moment of truth. Cool. Another thing to note is you want to make sure this stud when the hood goes down is going to basically bypass the strut rod. You just have to give these a little bit of a 
sometimes rotate them a little bit, the whole bracket, just to get it to clear. But once you do that and you pay attention, the hood strut kit works perfect. So having a hood strut kit on my car is very exciting for a few reasons, but for me personally, a lot of times I'm gonna pop the hood because I'm trying to prototype a part or maybe I have a camera in my hand and I literally only have one hand to pop the hood. So when I come over to pop the hood, it's nice that I could just literally lift it now. A lot of times I'll have my camera in my hand, I'll have something like this intercooler piping or something that's, you know, expensive and has a nice high luster and I don't want to like put it on the ground to open the hood or run have to run back in the house and then come back outside open the hood then go grab everything for me I like having the hood struts uh, it's, it actually is a nice clean look and I really like the way they look I think it's really cool to have them under the hood so uh, I guess the next thing I could do I might just leave the rod just as a backup just in case or I think it just pulls out it looks like it just pops right out of here. You just probably tap it with a hammer and it comes out. Um, this is just a piece of plastic or something holding it, so. I'm just gonna leave it there for now because it's not in my way, but eventually I'll probably come up with some kind of cover or something just to get rid of it so it looks a little nicer. Or maybe I'll come out with like an engine cover that'll come above the radiator just to clean everything up. Also, two more products that I added to the website are the Black Widow Edition Turbo. So there's gonna be a video series coming out where I do a bunch of modifications to this car and aluminum radiator, actually a lot of aluminum upgrades for the cooling system because the OEM radiator has plastic end tanks. So I had some aluminum radiators made. I'm doing them in batches. So if somebody wants to be part of the next batch, uh, you guys can message me and I'll add you to the list. Um, I have some uh, water neck upgrades and some higher flow water pumps. Those are the three things that pretty much go bad on these cooling systems. So I, I basically put them in a bundle on the website. So if you guys want those parts, just message me and let me know. Uh, thanks again, everyone. I appreciate everybody who's part of the membership. Uh, by the way, anybody who's in the membership, uh, there is a membership website. If you, uh, if you go into the members section and see all the posts that I put into uh, YouTube, you'll actually be able to see what the website address is. And there's a members only uh, communication area for that. Uh, and then, you know, I'm doing a lot of updates on that. So if there's anything you want to see, anything you want me to add or anything you don't like about it, give me the feedback. Let me know what you guys think, because I need your help to make sure I do it the way you want, because it's literally for you. It's a thank you uh, for being a member of the channel. And if it weren't for you guys supporting me, I wouldn't be able to do cool things like create hood struts for a Generation 1 cruise that literally didn't exist a month ago. Uh, so thanks again, everyone. Have a very nice day, and I appreciate you subscribing. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never ran to the no, man, I still go. Go, go.